Hello friends, I'm just editing this video and realised apparently I didn't even say hello at the start of it and didn't intro anything, I didn't, I don't know, there's no starting clip that I can find anywhere. So I just wanted to say hello and welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to another vlog, I hope you are having a lovely day. If you are new here, my name is Kirsty. I'm 26, I live in Adelaide with my gorgeous little family. I have two beautiful daughters and a lovely husband as well as our Australian Kelpie, Ziggy. And I just want to... I don't know, kind of apologize for this vlog a little bit because I feel like I'm a bit of a downer, but I also really wanted to share it because I feel like I had a really hard week, basically, which you'll see in the vlog. I had a hard week. Some weeks in parenthood are just a little bit wild. And next week's vlog, so like the vlog I'm filming now, will be much more happy because I'm feeling much better after a really wonderful weekend. But yeah, I had a really hard week and parenting was just a little bit rough. So I get a little bit raw in this video and I talk some real deep feelings, I guess, and just really, I don't know, I'm just very real in how I was feeling and I just needed to let out all my feels and you guys get to listen to that. So I do hope you enjoy this video. It's probably not as like fun as all of my normal content, I guess. But I think sharing the real and the raw is really important. And I always try to, you know, just share the good and the bad. And I think that's really important. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I promise I'm okay. So I hope you enjoy this video. Next clip is a run that I did and like, yeah, there's no intro. So enjoy going on a run with me. Okay, I'm about to go for my first run post back injury. Wish me luck, I'm very nervous. All right, one cut down, probably pretty good. I definitely, like my back sometimes twinges, but overall, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty chuffed, feeling weirdly fit considering I've had a few weeks off. Two kilometers down, still feeling pretty damn good. Honestly, just happy to be here. Three kilometers down, feeling pretty tired. Oh, there's like weird animals over there. They're gobbling, they're turkeys. That's so random. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit fatigued. I did go to the gym this morning, so that could be why. Overall, doing all right. Four kilometers down and I'm feeling good. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, just hit 5K and I've decided to keep going because I feel like totally fine. This is bizarre. I've never, like, I couldn't run 700 meters 18 months ago. Since then I've been pregnant and grown and birthed a human. And like, now I'm just killing it. I'm like, 5.4 kilometers in. Feeling really proud of myself. Whew. Whew. Oh my goodness. Okay, that last kilometer was very slow, but I got it done. Six kilometers for the first time ever. Did not wear the appropriate leggings. They absolutely fell down, but I got there. I'm very proud of myself. Ziggy, come here. I now have lost my dog. Whew. What a good time. Don't worry, I found him. We're good. Whew. It's 7.40, Hayden is at the gym. And I was like, I've got the girls, you go to the gym, get a workout in, I got this. So I bathed the girls, got them both to bed. I've now just put on the, the nappies to wash. I've made Harper's lunch for tomorrow. I'm going to just quickly finish cleaning up the kitchen. I'm just watching Rachel's most recent vlog whilst I tidy up and then I'm gonna jump in the shower. 
and then I'm going to have a little hot Milo and go to bed, basically. I'm not gonna do too much tonight. I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna finish my book. I'm currently reading Never Have I Ever by Stephanie Alvis. I've never heard of it before. I'm quite enjoying it. I'm like really close to the end though. I have 11 minutes left. So I'll be finishing that tonight and then continuing on with whatever else. But yeah, I'm really trying to get into the habit at the moment of making sure the kitchen is like spotless when I go to bed. So when I wake up, my breakfast is already prepped because I prepped it on Sunday for two days in a row, which you would have seen in last week's vlog. And then all of Harper's stuff is packed and ready to go for the morning as well for childcare. And then I wake up to a spotless kitchen. So literally I won't make the kitchen messy either because I'm not going to have I won't be making breakfast dishes and yeah it's stunning honestly I ended up running six kilometers I feel so proud of myself that's my longest run ever and my back feels really good I was a bit worried about it oh my god I've got the heater on and I've left like four doors open oh my god no wonder the house isn't actually getting warmer why don't I do this yeah so both girls are sleeping which is absolutely stunning i love when everyone's asleep and i can just like get stuff done by myself and i uploaded a video today and then so tomorrow i'm going to try and edit as much as i can first thing in the morning i'm going to try and get harbour to childcare early again in the morning that's what i did today was i got her to childcare really early and then went to the cafe and edited so i'm going to try and do the same thing again tomorrow but yeah gonna finish tidying and then I'm going to jump in the shower, have a little hot Milo. I'm loving Milo before bed at the moment. It's, um, yeah, just having the best time, living my best life. I just need this kitchen to be spotless before I go for my shower. And then I'm sweet. Good morning, friends. It's Tuesday. I've just gone for a big, beautiful walk by the beach. And now we are heading to the gym. I'm just helping out today in the kids' space. And then I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing today. I might be seeing Ella. I might need to go to the shops. I'm not really sure. So that's where I'm at. A little bit all over the place. I'm not going to lie. But just happy to have my camera back. That's what I'm feeling. What a good time. What a morning. I have had I have had such a hectic morning. I don't, can't even explain today. The weather is beautiful. I had a really good workout. I had a good sleep. I had a delicious breakfast. I was up at six before the girls. I had time to myself. But I am so tapped out parenthood wise today. Harper has been really, really difficult today. She has been so unhappy and just so emotional and Marley was really upset this morning which is very unlike her she is like the most chill easygoing happy baby in the friggin world so like I don't even know how to handle when she's upset as well like quite often I have the time to negotiate with Harper and like work through her feelings because Marley's just chilling but she wasn't chilling so like I just had a lot of heightened emotions today and both girls are now asleep so I've just been doing some reading I'm doing a reading vlog at the moment. I really want to finish this book to include in it. But honestly, I'm only 130 pages in of like 370. So I've got a lot to do. Like I have a lot to read if I want to finish it for this reading vlog. And the reading vlog's going live in two days. So we'll see if that happens or not. I'm not very hopeful, but we'll see. Hopefully, I think Harper's asleep, which is amazing because it's her first time sleeping in a big girl bed. She's so far she sleeps at night in her big girl bed amazing 12 hours but at in for her day naps she's been asking to still go in her cot like i'll give her the option do you want to go in your big girl bed or in your cot and she keeps saying cot and the two times i have tried to put her in her bed she's just gotten out so today she said she wanted to go in her big girl bed and she hasn't moved and went to sleep which is amazing but yeah she's just had a lot of emotions today and i tried really hard to do all the tools that i've got like we went out in the garden first thing in the morning so we're outside in fresh air we've had lots of food so she's not hungry and like very good food for like nothing that's going to spike her sugar levels or get her so crazy and then after the gym we went out for a walk and like in nature and in the sunshine but like she just didn't want me to throw the frisbee for the dog and was like screaming over it like oh uh, it was just a lot so yeah I'm hoping to just chill for the rest like the whole time they nap I'm just going to try and read as much as I can 
I've got the dishwasher on, the washing machine on, I've got the nappies out drying, so I'm like really on top of everything. The house is like not too messy, there's a few toys around, but that's that. Oh, the dishwasher, the washing machine's finished. That's just active wear in there, so that's stunning. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm just gonna read and try and breathe because I just feel like I haven't had the chance to breathe at all today and I just feel really overwhelmed. Luckily, Harper you know has gone to sleep at like one o'clock so hopefully by the time she gets up from her nap Hayden will be home and he can help me with the crazy so that's today's update <laughs> good morning friends it is Friday morning I don't think I vlogged anything yesterday but I was just in mum mode I've actually had a couple of really rough days with the girls Marley has been a little bit under the weather so she's just been extra fussy and Harper <sighs> toddlers are wild and I don't know what has been happening but she's just been going through it. So I'm really behind on like life this week, I feel like. Last week I was so on top of the world and keeping on top of everything, but I have some other like external stresses that are sort of overwhelming me a little bit at the moment, I think. And so, yeah, I'm just feeling a lot. Um, so I've got my Carper's lunchbox still for childcare today, which is very unlike me. Usually I make everything the night before, everything's ready to go, but we, I was just running on empty yesterday, so that didn't happen. And then we were at Hayden's parents for dinner. So I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna try and get her to childcare like kinda early and then go for a walk with Marley along the beach before my kids space session at the gym. So that should be nice, a nice way to start the day. And then after that, I'm gonna go out for coffee and edit whilst Marley naps and just try and get like my next video or two ready to go, which would be great. I'm actually going to have done three uploads this week, which is amazing. And I did two last week, so that's really fun. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Let's hope it all goes to plan. But my kitchen's just not as tidy as I want it to be. My house isn't as tidy as I want it to be. But it's fine. When I vlog later, I'll be feeling a little bit more upbeat. For now, I'm going to make coffee and my breakfast whilst I do Harper's lunch for the day. Okay, I'm looking a little bit more put together now than I was this morning. I did my hair like a quick, like not a proper straighten, but just like, you know, went through it really fast just so that it wasn't so everywhere. I put on some makeup, I brushed my teeth, I had something for breakfast, and then Harper woke up and I was really, really flustered. Marley woke up early this morning. Usually I wake her up, get her in the car, get Harper in the car, and then feed her when I arrive at my destination, aka I'm by the beach right now to read and usually I would feed her whilst I read and then go to the gym. However, she woke up at 7.30 <laughs> and was starving apparently. And so I had to feed her before we went to childcare. Harper wasn't very happy this morning. She wouldn't let me brush her hair. There was a whole, it was just a lot. I don't know, this week parenting wise, I'm feeling so tapped out. Harper has just been such hard work the last couple of days. She's been overtired she's been she must be going through a growth spurt or something because she will not stop eating and she's just been really emotional and so I've just been struggling with that I guess a lot and yeah being the stay-at-home parent and like the default parent is sometimes really difficult because it's like she would scream at me and then need me to comfort her like I couldn't keep her happy this week so like the last two days that I've had just with her so to any mums out there because I know there's a fair few mums that follow me it's okay if sometimes you need a break from your kids because today I really need a break from Harper so I'm really happy she's at childcare because I feel like some days I don't get to enjoy her as much as I feel like I should when she's just having all of these big feelings and it's like emotional meltdown after emotional meltdown and nothing I can nothing I do seems to be able to fix it and she just cries in my arms and I don't know what's wrong and then I feel so guilty because I get frustrated at her and I don't want to get frustrated at her she's too she doesn't mean to annoy me and she doesn't mean to make me angry but I just feel so overwhelmed sometimes and then I just feel like the whole day is trying to problem solve and trying to make her have fun and trying to make her happier when she's just not in the mood and we're all allowed to have bad days she is too but it's obviously 
I want to try and enjoy every moment I have with her. And I'm like, these are the best days of my life. And they truly are. Like, so much of motherhood is my dream come true. And I try to enjoy the good and the bad and blah, blah, blah. But then some days when she is just a hot mess, I just feel like I don't get to enjoy any of her. And then those days always seem to coincide with the days that she has a shorter nap and so then I don't feel like I have the time to recharge myself like emotionally and fill my cup up for round two when she wakes up from her nap and so yeah I've just kind of been going through it this week and that's okay and today I'm gonna do some things to fill my cup because I just have Marley and she's an angel well to be fair she hasn't been that happy either unfortunately but it's it is what it is, I guess. But when both of them are crying at the same time, I just, like, can't breathe. And I don't know who to help first, and I just get so overwhelmed. Like, there was multiple times in the last two days where I just had both of them on my lap, like, crying in each arm. And I just, like, cried with them because I was like, I don't know how to help you. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what to do. So I might seem like I've got it all together sometimes with my motherhood. And I try really, really hard to be a good mum. Like, I put so much effort into being, like, a kind supportive gentle parent with firm boundaries but you know all these things and sometimes I feel like I'm not doing a good enough job when they're so unhappy and there's nothing I can do about it so yeah there's my little ramble for the morning um yeah by the beach I'd like to go for a walk but I don't really have like time Molly I think will fall asleep but I don't want to like get her out put her in the pram like that'll take five minutes then I don't know maybe we'll just go and get a coffee I don't really need, I've already had a coffee this morning. I don't really need another coffee, but maybe I'll just do it. I feel like I deserve it after the last few days. And I want to do some reading. I'm doing, I need to finish my reading vlog today. So I need to finish a book ideally. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks for listening to me ramble about motherhood for five minutes. I really needed that. Oh my God, so it's Sunday. We've come to this epic new playground. And it's so busy. So for anyone who's in Adelaide who hasn't yet come to Glenthorne, I highly recommend because this place is wild.